Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are doing a little bit of exploring around the world at the moment. In the lower part of it. And now, we're going to have a look at a few things that are near us, and then probably go back to see Cass at the in the middle of the jungle, because I think we're going to go do that. We should do it around this point in time. Now. Let's head back this way then. Oh, I missed. That's fine. It's also really dark in this rain, which makes it a little bit dangerous to be riding. Because I don't want to accident and accidentally go off the edge of a cliff. I don't think I can, but that'd be bad, so... Let's just head over in this direction. And we can actually loop right back to the Hateno area by going this way, actually. I guess these enemies just stay around this area, which is interesting. So if we follow this path here... We should head back to the Hateno area. I wonder what else is nearby. Just looking off the side here to see if I can find anything. I feel like I'm going the wrong way though. Because I don't think this is going to lead. Oh, I might lead back. But not the, exactly the way I was hoping to go. Excuse me, just coming through. Oh my goodness. Oh, rapidly declining hill area. And it looks like... Hang on. Just a second. Just wait, slow down. Because this looks like that's the Hatena Tower. And the road over here connects to this area. There's Hateno. Wow. Okay then. I think I'm going to go this way just a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Control is difficult sometimes. And I think somewhere over here should be a little area to go up, I suppose. Oh my goodness. A couple of just hiding in the grass there. And let's go up this way. But I think I'm going to leave Andy here. In just a second. Because this area is a little bit dangerous. So, goodbye my friend. Okay. Let's head over this way, to start off. Oh, hello. Ow, really? Just breaking everything and not even doing what I'm trying to do? Also, I used the root protection for once, I guess. Oh, that's a white silver bokoblin. Oh my goodness. Let's do some damage to you. Try not to use Daruk's protection too much. Because that's actually useful. Cutting down trees, oh my goodness. Oh wow, even some hardy and rice. Just here. I guess it's just because I cut this... Um, oh my goodness, my weapon broke. Because I cut this stuff here. This is actually probably a good place to get Hylian Rice then. If you can just cut here and get it. Oh my goodness, he dropped a ruby. Okay then. That's good to know. Oh, so that's a, uh, a thing on that tree that I want to get. I think I can shoot it. Yeah, I can. Cool. A hearty lizard. Don't get the arrow back. But that's okay. I 
might actually be worth checking some of these trees. For Koroks, possibly. Koroks could be anywhere. And it's very concerning that they could be. Just head all the way up here. It does sound like there's a Korok around here. But it might just be running around on the ground and not up in the tree. Um... Is there something to shoot? This is a very different tree though. Oh! I think I see it. There it is. Quick, quick, quick. Get it! Good. Cool. Absolutely great. Now where are we? I think... Oh my goodness. Hang on, let me... figure this out when I open up my map first. Uh, I'm gonna... guess... that section. Hopefully. Well, anyway. Now, I haven't actually seen any of the things I was thought were down here, but it's okay. Still. Let's climb up this tree. We could climb faster if I put on my climber gear. Oh, there's a cave down here. What's in the cave? I don't think I've ever seen this cave, so I, this is cool. Hello, anyone home? I guess it's just a big loop then, if that's like that. Although I still don't see any of the things I was hoping to find. Although, if I do accident accidentally find Koroks out here, that would also be good. Is that a regular bush? Yeah, that's just the bush. Is the Korok the bush? Is it, is it a Korok bush? Do Koroks grow on bushes? I don't think Koroks grow on anything. Just gonna get a view from over here. Yeah, I'm definitely not going the right way. Hang on, that's a chest. Or a rock. That's a rock. That's a Korok. It's a Korok. Get the Korok. I think, yes, it is a Korok. Not the one that I thought it was going to be. But let's still grab this. There we go. Hello. Bye-bye. Ow, stop shooting me. Ow. There we go. Get some Hyrule Bass from that Oct rock. I wish I could make the... change the size of the mini-map. It probably can, but I don't know how. Anyway... Looks like we're seeing some structures around the place. And I might... go down this way. Just have a look at them. Oh, and there's a Hinox there. So we might want to go battle that then. Oh, and he's got an orb. Just gonna steal his stuff. Some ice arrows and the course of bee honey. Oh, and there's another thing. That's interesting. Um, it might actually be worth switching to bombs for fighting year. Oh my goodness. 
Ow, bees. Bees. Really, bees? Oh, they're going to the fire. Fools. Anyway, let's actually have a fight with this Henox then. If I do it properly. Henox, middle kin. Oh, I missed. I wonder if my multiple shot bows would be better for this. I do have a three shot bow, which is really good, so. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, the damage. Just gonna keep doing this, this then. And there we go. I don't think this is, yeah, this is just the blue Hinox that we've already found one before. And for killing him, we get his orb and also his guts. So let's just grab all that. And let's take this orb with us, I suppose. We need to actually find somewhere to use it. So let's go up this path here, I believe. Unless the tree I cut down. I mean, blew, blew up. I blew up that tree. And so cut it down like that. Is it a blood moon? I don't think so. But if it is, that means that the Hinox I just defeated is going to respawn. Hopefully not stealing this orb back. And there's a pedestal for this to go into. Up here. So let's put that in. Um, but there's also two more. Let's read this little stone over here. The uh, ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Mount Taran lead to the shrine. I don't know why I'm calling them the Blood Moon, my friend. I don't think anyone would consider it their friend, maybe? Unless people can glitch it in many cool ways. Is there anything else down there that I need to know about? I don't think so. Oh my goodness, Blood Moon. Please. Being up high when you're around a Hinox is probably good for combat as well, which is why I was in the tree last time. The, uh, the spike bone things around here work very well for fighting them. Oh, hey, a chest over here. Let me grab that. Giant boomerang, durability up, I don't need that, but okay. Now let's see if I'm gonna be lucky with this. I guess I won't know until I get another orb up the hill. So let's take out this Hinox then. Oh, he's done already. Cool. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba. Oh, Dragonbone Poker Bat. Just 
just gonna take everything he's dropped except the Boko Bat. Dragonbone Boko Bat. Used by only the toughest Bokoblin warriors, this Boko Bat has been fortified by fossilized bone. It boasts a, in a, high, a high durability and a strong is strong enough to beat down pain, paper foes. Okay, grab all this, and then I guess. Oh, hello! This is actually different. Dragonbone Bokobo. A Bokobo reinforced by fossils. A uh, Bokoblin's. Ha uh, ha hand picked the materials it's made from, so it boasts of a respectable firepower. Okay, I don't need it. Let's grab this orb and walk slowly up the hill. This is also the opposite way from a horse, so. Should have headed this way first, but I did find Korok, so. That works out well for me. Now, which way do I need to go to actually get up the hill? I think it's this way. I think it's just a long way, though. So let's start walking. Oh my goodness, this is a very long way away. Does the thing respawn? It does, but it doesn't... Oh, it does? Does it? Oh no. If it does have the orb, that's bad. If it has a second orb that I can still use. Oh, it dropped the orb. It's... Ah. Oh. So it respawned with the orb, but the orb just isn't with him, connected to him anymore. Well, that's annoying. Thank you, Blood Moon. That isn't even a Blood Moon anymore. That was the worst timing to have that happen. I should have waited, actually. Anyway, let's put orb number one in. And let's go get orb number one, two. Oh my goodness. At least if I need Hinox Guts, I can kill this one again. How much health does he have left? Please tell me. How come the orb's back on him? What is happening? Also, I'm about to run out of bomb arrows. I'm, out, I'm basically out of bomb arrows. I have two left. At least it's made my life a little bit easier just going through all of this stuff super quickly. Where'd the orb go? If the orb's gone... Oh, also this is different. Dragon Bone Boko... Spear? Yes. I didn't read it fast enough. This Boko Spear has been uh, strengthened with fossilized bones. The bones are positioned outward, so the fangs bite at the opponent. Beware bulk goblins carrying this weapon. Okay, I will. I definitely will. Now let's get orb number two into position. Just have to walk up the hill with this. And then we still have one more to go. So we've done lower the youngest, and we've done the middle. So the oldest kin, Hinox, is still left to go. Which is probably going to be the strongest then. And we could have done this ages ago when we first went to Hateno. Except I probably wouldn't recommend it, considering how much, how much I spent on this. Um, the 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 first orb is okay, so it needs to go in the correct. Okay, so it needs to go on the correct
coffee. So which one does this need to go in then? I'm a, I'm guessing there's some way that you're supposed to know which one to put it in. Oh, I wonder if it's which one is closest to the the path. So that one was closest to that one. This one is closest to this one. And thereby, the, by elimination, that means that this way is where the last Hinox is as well. So I guess that works out. But that's still annoying. I guess you can't get an orb from halfway across the world and just take it here to make that work instead. Because there are a few places where there are orbs. So, what's happening over here? What is it doing? Oh, is that an electric arrow or something? Oh, my weapon broke. I need to switch that then. Oh, he's got a electric wand rod thing. A thunderstorm rod. Actually, that's the really good one, isn't it? The one that shoots three at a time. And we have a black Hinox up here that we need to take care of. I wonder if this is going to be useful. Oh, and there's stuff here as well. Gonna grab that then. This only does 10 attack damage. So hopefully that's actually gonna be fairly alright. Oh my goodness, this might be might have been a bad idea. Well, what I would recommend doing is actually charging up uh, Abosa's Fury and doing that because that is really good against these Hinoxes, so. Any Hinox you can use this to do good damage. And now we just need to finish it off. Just like that. There's also a chest in the ground here that we can grab. So let's open that. And then let's go get the orb. 300 rupees that it was sitting on. Nice. Lots of good stuff. I hope there's no Koroks around here just hiding in plain sight. What am I taking? Oh, wooden shield. Okay. Looks like this was an ancient battleground. Probably because of this Hinox just settling in here. Anyway, that's this done. And because it's an overworld challenge, it's probably just going to be a shrine of shrine offering thing. So just give us the end. Here we go. Orb number three. Or is it five? I'm not sure. Three ancient giant brothers completed. And it is just a reward. Thank you. Thank you, game. Ah, <sighs> Tower Jin's blessing. Great Thunder Blade. My inventory is too full. Well, this blade is about to break anyway. So let's just break that on the wall. There we go. Very nice. And there we go. Now that that's done, let's go... Probably... 
um, back over to the stable here. Although I think the tower would have worked better than this, so... But it gives me an excuse to get my horse back, so... Let's just go with this, since I'm already here. Just gonna break some of this while I'm here as well. Take that. Oh my goodness. Take that. Shitting things around. Lots of stuff. Okay. Let me get Andy back here. Take horse. Let's go Andy. Max maxed out the bond. Good. There we go. Now let's figure out where the road is because I think it's this way? Yeah, this way. Let's go this way. Oh, hello Beetle. Just gonna pass you by for now. Now let's find out where Cass was along here. Shouldn't be that far away, hopefully. Also, hopefully that the I hope that the trees on the map isn't ruining the um the automatic run along the road for the horse. Because if that was to happen, that would be bad. There's also that path I didn't take ever. I don't know if it does anything. I think we need to go quite a way back to actually find Cass. I think we're getting close now. I think it's at this next river point. On the other side. There he is. The legend himself. A visitor so deep in the forest. Ah, oh, we meet again. I trust you're keeping well. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. Where the forest dragon spray, sp splays its jaws. A shrine sleeps with noble cause. Ooh. The forest dragon? I've never seen a dragon in the forest around these parts. Though I suppose the forest from the song could be the da da Daimul Forest north of here. There's definitely a secret le lying in wait. It's just a matter of tracking it down. May the light illuminate your path. Let's see. Damal Forest. Looks like it's this way. Let's uh... mark that there. But the dragon with its jaws? I don't know about that. Now I don't actually know what the best method to get there is. So I'm hopefully gonna not have too much trouble with that. But we need to go through this jungle for that. I think I can follow this path back here, probably. But I believe this path is also guarded by lots of monsters. And I mean a lot of monsters. We can probably just run past most of so it. We're very strong now. Maybe we might find some corks along the way, though. That'd be good. Oh wow, that's a lot of defenses here. Let me just pass by. Might even go from up here. Ow! Don't don't stab me. Don't use your same type attack bonus. 
lock and arrow. Where did that come from? Uh, looks like we're heading in the right direction though. Since the marker I placed on my map is actually right in front of us. So I should probably just keep following this this road. There is like statues. Oh, more electric shoes. It's very dark at the moment, so I don't know if I'm going to miss anything important. Oh, hearty radishes. Not going to miss those. I think we need to follow this a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it. There's, there, there's still statues along here. Though I might need to actually cross the river, maybe? Oh, climbing over things. I guess it doesn't matter which side of the river I'm on as long as I'm following the river. Probably. And now... Over here... We can see something in front of us. But that's normal, so... Oh, and there's a lot of lookouts. Oh my goodness. Oh, shooting at me. I'm gonna have to run. Just run, 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 run. Ow. Run, 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 run. Ow. Run, 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 run. I'm fine. There's also more enemies to fight here. But again, you can just run past everything. Even you, and grab your reward. Even though you're just there, I guess. Gold rupee and running away. And over here, we have a special spring. The Spring of Courage. Which also, if we step up here, has a goddess statue for us to pray at. So, offer Far Farosh's scale received from the uh, Golden Spirit to the Spring of Courage. I got us highly will guide you. Um, okay. I'll just step back here. And... Grab one of those, and just drop it. And our shrine is revealed. The, your path has shown itself, now go forth. And now that we've done that, I believe we can actually use the, um, use the goddess statue to get an extra stamina vessel. And this place is, it also should look familiar to you, if you've played a specific other game in the Zelda series, or seen it. Played or seen it. Because this place looks... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to hold myself back. Restrain myself. Anyway. We found another shrine. But that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.